What you see today is a country on the rise, propelled by our determination to change the way things were done in the Philippines and ensure that integrity, transparency, and accountability characterize our actions. We're making sure that public funds are used to help our countrymen and that information and expenditures is made available to the public to help in guarding against corruption. We are giving our bosses, the Filipino people, a government they can trust. A government that is transparent and accountable and values the active participation of its citizens. This is the vision for the Philippine Public Financial Management System. Today, you are making history. Kasama ka sa paggugol na matuwid. As we speak, important reforms are being put in place and with your support, these will strengthen public financial management. The reformed or new PFM will ensure that we are spending within our means on the right priorities with measurable results. The Public Financial Management Reform Roadmap Your support is the key to the reforms our agencies are leading. The Department of Budget and Management manages government expenditure and performance and ensures that every peso government spends produces results. DBM leads PFM reform towards performance-informed budgeting, which will allow us to monitor if government spending has been effective. Spending on programs, activities, and projects are correlated to the final outputs and outcomes government agencies must deliver based on their mandates. DBM also takes the lead in four critical activities that seek to simplify, harmonize, and consolidate financial information and make it meaningful for the public. The Government Integrated Financial Management System, an integrated IT solution that will collect and organize financial information in a central database to support budget preparation, management, execution, and financial reporting. The Unified Accounts Code structure is a fundamental building block of the Government Integrated Financial Management System. It ensures that all financial processes, from budgeting and cash management to accounting and audit, will follow a single classification system or common language for financial transactions. For improved efficiency, the Comprehensive Human Resource Information System is also incorporated into the Government Integrated Financial Management System. It will improve the way government manages HR processes processes, including position and payroll management. The Government Integrated Financial Management System and its complementary systems increase government transparency as it now allows access of key stakeholders to government expenditures and disbursements. Government agencies and civil society organizations will now enter into budget partnership agreements to review agency programs and projects and crafting budget proposal. Also, grassroots participatory budgeting process empowers citizens to have a voice and vote through their communities and local governments in crafting the budget. Secretary Florencio Abad underscores the benefits of these reforms for the Filipino people. The uh, reform measures that we are pursuing under our PFM program. First, to make sure that government spends within limits. It does not overspend and therefore increase its deficit, but spends within its means. Secondly, the reforms also ensures that government spends according to its key priorities because it's important for us to be able to consolidate government's resources to make an impact on key priorities that the government has committed to our people. And finally, we have to make sure that all the uh, expenditures of government result to measurable changes in the lives of our people. That means we ought to be able to set very concrete indicators that, in fact, those reforms and those programs pursuing them have impact on the lives of ordinary people. If we are able to do this, I think we can further heighten the trust and uh, the confidence of our people in the way the government is spending their hard-earned tax money and eventually promote greater transparency greater accountability, and more engaged citizenry insofar as ensuring that their monies are spent well. The Department of Finance, with the Bureau of Treasury, is responsible for revenues, debt management, and treasury management. They ensure that the right taxes are collected and government debt is kept in check. The agency leads on two key initiatives under the PFM Reform Roadmap. 
The Treasury Single Account will provide a unified structure for managing government cash resources. Agency bank account balances will be clearly visible on a daily basis, ultimately leading to billions of savings from interest costs on borrowings. To better manage the national government's financial exposure, a system will also be developed for recording and reporting all liabilities of government entities. Finance Secretary Cesar Purisima highlights the positive impact of these reforms for the people. The Aquino administration has proven the past three years that uh, good governance is indeed good economics. And at the heart of this are the reforms that uh, we've done in the public uh, financial management. And this has allowed us to increase investment in our people as well as uh, infrastructure. Uh, this will ultimately lead to an environment that will allow for more investments as well as uh, growth that is uh, more inclusive. The Commission on Audit is responsible for auditing government agencies to ensure that funds entrusted to them are spent properly. The agency leads on three key initiatives in the PFM Reform Roadmap. The government's accounting and auditing systems, tools and practices are being modified to align with international standards. Key initiatives include the revised chart of accounts and new handbooks on accounting and auditing standards. The revised chart of accounts provides new accounts based on Philippine public sector accounting standards and uniform accounts to be used by national government agencies. This will strengthen the Commission's role as the primary audit institution in improving external scrutiny as well as reducing the potential for misuse of funds. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, under the Participatory Audit Initiative, civil society organizations join COA auditors in the conduct of value-for-money audits of selected government programs and projects. COA Chair Grace Tan points out what these reforms will mean for the country. Through our Public Financial Management Reform Roadmap, we seek to install greater accountability in government institutions. We are harmonizing the way we manage government accounts so that we will be able to more timely, effectively, and efficiently track and monitor each peso of taxpayers' money that we spend. Mas mahirap nang makakalusot sa COA under this program. The DBM, DOF, and COA working together to make the PFM roadmap a reality. Not just for this administration, but for our future. Una sa lahat, nagpapasalamat kami ng malaki sa ating mga kababayan at sa mga kawani natin sa pamahalaan. Sa loob lamang po ng napakaikling panahon, napakalaking pagbabago na po ang nangyari sa ating bansa. Sa tiwala ng ating mamamayan sa kanilang pamahalaan, sa paglago ng ating ekonomiya, at sa napakarami at napakalaking uh, serbisyo na ibibigay natin sa larangan ng edukasyon, kalusugan, pabahay, anak buhay. Kaya po mga kababayan, marami pa po tayong magagawa. Kailangan po natin ipagpatuloy ho ang ating sakripisyo, ang ating pagmamalasakit, at sa darating na panahon palagay ko po, higit nagiginhawa po ang ating buhay, at higit po matatahimik ang ating mga kababayan at ang kanilang araw-araw na kabuhayan ay atin pong higit pang mapapaunlad. Kaya po, magsama-sama ho tayo, ipagpatuloy na ang ating pagtutulungan upang sa ganon ang ating natamo ngayon ay higit pa natin malalampasan. We are in this uh, journey together. A journey to create a better Philippines. A journey to make sure that uh, better governance is sustained in this country. And if we continue the reforms that we're doing in public financial management, then we can generate the revenues, create the environment, so that we can create more jobs, opportunities for our people. It's important that we recognize our individual roles in this. This is our fight for a better future for our country. We need your support. Our public financial management reforms will ultimately empower our citizens to hold government fully accountable for every peso that is spent of public money. Effective public management does not rest on the BBM, the BOF, or the Commission on Audit alone. 
an involved and vigilant citizenry is a crucial component of the process and our success. Para sa inyo ito, mamamayang Pilipino. With your support and your commitment, we will see this through until we achieve greater transparency, accountability, and efficiency. The PFM Reform Roadmap. Ating itaguyod ang reforma. Ating lakarin ang daan sa kasaganaan para sa lahat.